do so, we need to get the ore of aluminium, which is the bauxite, and put it into this furnace. And we also add the cryolite to reduce its melting point. As we turn on the electricity, you would start to see observations. The first thing you will notice that there is aluminium metal forming there at the bottom side. And you'll see bubbles of oxygen forming at the anode. Now, both the cathode and anode are made up of graphite because it is inert. So at the cathode, the aluminium is going to gain electrons. That is reduction. So it's going to gain three electrons to form aluminium atoms. And at the anode, you'll notice that oxide ions getting oxidized into oxygen molecules. You need to balance the equation. You put there two on the left-hand side. And you also have four negative charges there on the left. So you're going to have to put four electrons there on the right. The overall chemistry happening here is that the aluminium ions, those are the positive ions, they travel all the way to the bottom. This is where they get reduced and you would form the aluminium metal there at the bottom side and the molten aluminium will be poured from the bottom side while the oxide ions, they will get to the anodes, they will lose electrons to form oxygen. Something happens while this oxidation happening there at the anodes. When oxygen forms at the anode, it actually reacts with the anode. The anode is made up of graphite. So you have oxygen and carbon from the graphite. Those two react to form carbon dioxide.